Hey everyone, Chrissy here, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of Desertland Park in Orlando. If you are looking for a fun alternative to the theme parks or just looking for an indoor activity to do on a rainy day, Desertland Park has a ton of fun activities and attractions. Desertland Park is an 800,000 square foot indoor attraction that started as a passion project created by Sebastian Makovsky and real estate developer, car collector, and billionaire Michael Desert. Desertland Park was opened in December 2020 and boasts several attractions that include electric go-karts, bowling alleys, arcade, laser tag, an auto museum, and so much more. We visited on an excruciating hot Saturday morning, and so I was looking for something fun to do indoors to escape the heat. And I have to admit that I wasn't quite sure what to expect when we arrived here, but when we walked through the doors, I was blown away by how huge this place is. One of the main attractions and one of the first things that I had to go and check out was the Auto Museum. The Auto Museum here is the personal auto collection of Michael Deser and is the largest personal collection of vehicles in the US. There are about 2,000 vehicles within this collection and are displayed in over 18 different groupings. There's even a few cars that you can find outside of the museum sprinkled throughout the park that you can see for free. Once you do walk into the museum, the very first showstopper that you can't miss is the Guinness World Record holder as the longest car in the world, which is called the American Dream and is over 100 feet long. This incredible super limo is made up of over six Eldorado limos and it can seat more than 75 passengers and has a helicopter pad, a putting green, and even a swimming pool. Once we finished admiring the American dream, I started my tour around the desert collection starting at the 1920s, where you're encouraged to start by the museum following the footsteps on the floor. Then I made my way over to the Cars of the Stars, where you can find an incredible collection of cars from the movies and a television like Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Dukes of Hazzard, Ghostbusters, as well as so many more. But the collection does not stop there. There's also the cars of Buckingham Palace, the Gatsby Lounge, the supercars, and the cars of Europe like the UK, France, and Italy. A few of my favorites were the Vespa Lounge that has this entire wall of Vespas, as well as the Batcave, where you can find the Batmobiles of Adam West, Michael Keaton, and Val Kilmer. You can spend an entire day just walking around the auto museum, and, and we almost did. We were here for hours, and I'm sure that we probably still didn't see it all, but we definitely did try. In addition to the auto museum, you also get access to the Bond Museum, which is located in the very back of the 007 Lounge and has the largest collection of James Bond movie cars, aircrafts, and memorabilia. Once we finished admiring the incredible collection of Michael Deser, I wanted to go and check out a few of the fun activities that are also available here, like the Putting Edge, which is a really fun 18-hole glow-in-the-dark mini golf course where you can step into this whimsical world of color and images. There are several different rooms that have different themes, and the course itself was just challenging enough. And I highly recommend this if you're looking for a fun indoor activity to do with the family. Another popular thing to do at Deserland is the go-karting. And these electric go-karts are on one of Florida's longest indoor tracks. The adult tracks include intermediate, pro, and legend races. 
and the cadet track includes a junior race. By the way, if you're finding this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to learn more fun things to do like this in my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. If go-karting is not your thing, there's also an arcade here that has over 300 arcade games. That includes everything from a gamer's lounge, VR games, laser tag, bumper cars, as well as an entire pinball palace that features over 150 different pinball games, which is Florida's largest pinball collection and arcade. If you have kids that enjoy a trampoline, then you'll want to take them over to Jumpstart Trampoline Park that has over 20,000 square feet of fun and includes different areas for play of all ages, including dodgeball and a super slam basketball court. If you're looking for even more things to do, then there's also a boutique bowling alley that is complete with a full bar and a restaurant, as well as axe throwing where you can try your hand at different targets, including moving ones, as well as a variety of games. You can even catch a movie here at Cinemark and even fire some airsoft guns over at play shooting. There's also quite a few shops here that include Rocket Fizz, which is a really fun candy and soda shop, Leather Goods, and the Desert Land Gift Shop, which has a huge assortment of souvenirs and toys. Once you're finished exploring all of the attractions and you're looking for a bite to eat while you're here, there are also several options where you can grab a burger, a pizza, as well as milk, which is an all-you-can-eat cereal bar where you can try all the cereal you want for $5. So if you are thinking of heading over to Desert Land Park, here are a few things to keep in mind. There is no cost to enter Desert Land Park, so if you do want to just go and walk around, you can do that without having to pay any admission. However, if you do want to partake in any of the activities, you do have to pay for each attraction individually, but Desert Land also has a few different packages that you can purchase if you're looking to do a few different things while you're there. Also, if you're looking for discounts, I was able to find a Groupon for both the Auto Museum and the Mini Golf Course, so I highly recommend checking out Groupon before you head over there. One of the things that I loved about Desert Land is that this place is huge and there are so many different things to do here. And even though we visited on a holiday weekend, I didn't feel very crowded, which was a really nice change. And a cool thing is that if you're looking for a unique place to say, hold your next Christmas party or even maybe your birthday, you can rent out this space because they host events here too. If you have made it this far in the video, I would love to hear from you on Instagram at Krista Travels, where I release daily content on the videos that I'm currently working on for this channel. If you're looking for even more unique things to do in Orlando, then I've got an entire playlist for you that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist, I've got everything from Gatorland, Wild Florida, Wonderworks, as well as many more. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.